Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, it's time for Patch Tuesday once again. There's some pretty good news on this one. It's the, I'm going to say the fewest CVEs we've had to close in well over a year. There's 44 total CVEs closed. Only seven of those are critical. There is one that's actively being exploited and two that are previously known. So there's still, I mean, it's not without risk, but compared to previous months, it's actually looking kind of nice. We'll see if this is the new norm, if we're going to go back to triple digits here in, in uh, next month. Uh, I guess the first thing to highlight, one of the already known ones is the print spooler that followed up Print Nightmare. They weren't related, but it was just another print spooler. That one's being closed, as well as two of the other critical patches being closed are also print spooler. So that seems to be really a uh, big focus right now. A lot of things are being found and closed with that one. So it's, I don't know if it's going to be comfortable activating that service for some time where there's so many problems that have been found. Outside of that, I guess we'll kind of do the, the lowlights, what's gone wrong most on this one. And the first one we want to highlight is uh, this one here, the 36948. Uh, this one is a 7.8. This is the uh, actively exploited one. The, the nice one for this one, even though it's actually exploited, it is local only. They have to be logged onto the machine, and they can just use the medic uh, service within Windows to elevate that privilege. So... If they have the ability to log in their machine, they have the ability to then elevate the privileges to become an admin. Uh, it's not without risk. It's still rated as important, uh, not critical. Uh, but if no one's, I mean, where they have to actually have access to a machine makes it a little bit less likely to be exploited. It's just since it has been done, we're going to highlight that one. Uh, the next we're going to go over here is this uh, 34535. Uh, this one is remote desktop related. Uh, it's rated as an 8.8. .8. It's probably the... Highest rated remote one that we have that has been proven. We'll go over the unproven one next. <clears throat> and basically what this one does is allows them to not, not attack the RP, RDP servers, but RDP clients. And it lets them do remote uh, control of that one. It doesn't require user interaction, but it does require, I believe, a little bit of... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It requires user interaction, but no privileges. So it's probably one of those... They, get, they send some sort of malicious link that they click on that can take over using the RDP... Uh, cert, uh, RDP client. If a service, I think it'd probably rate a little bit higher, but client, maybe not quite so bad. The last we want to highlight, this one is rated as a 9.9, .9, which, I mean, that's about as bad as it can get, right? Um, luckily for this one, it is currently listed as unproven. And what it is an exploit for Hyper-V, basically uses IPv6, and they can take over hy uh, <coughs> Hyper-V host with that one. Well, it is rated 9.9, .9, still unproven. No one's actually been able to use it yet. It's just kind of theorized, but this closes the... I guess the, even the theory on that one. So not a huge deal yet, but it's going to be. So you're going to want to patch that before it moves from unproven to actively used. Uh, those are kind of the three major ones. There's a lot more going on overall with the blogs, but that's kind of the three that I just wanted to highlight. So overall, not super bad. It's you know, 44. It's, we haven't seen below 50 in I think longer than I've been doing these. So this is uh, it's kind of nice. Maybe, maybe security's tightening back up. Things can go back or... Maybe we've had so many extreme ones like, uh, you know, the, the print nightmare and is, uh, I forget the other one, but we've had a couple of out of band updates. So maybe those have been the focus. So there's been fewer CVEs on this round. I guess we'll find out in September how bad it's going to be. Uh, if you're wondering how you can get these updated as soon as possible, keep your uh, environment safe. You can use any sort of update system. You've got WSS or any sort of patching system. Me personally, I use PDQ to pull in inventory. We'll build that package for you, and you can go ahead and send it out. Just take a few minutes. Hit your test environment, make sure it's good, and then uh, get your production secure. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.